Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a deeper look at the render settings and how they affect, they affect the quality and the render time. And what I've done, I have this scene here with a, uh, with a tank, a ground, and there is some water here with reflection, refraction, and I do have an environment light and a distant light. And what I've done is I have, um, uh, animated the render settings for various options and uh, the, I started off with the camera and then um, increased that from 2 to 12 and then moved on to the diffuse uh, setting and at the beginning I didn't have any GI so uh, any uh, diffuse bounces so this was uh, okay to be zero and then once I turned off once I turned on the diffuse to one, uh, I started introducing the diffuse uh, samples. So here I'm animating the diffuse. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to the uh, glossy uh, to add reflection. So we get water reflecting the, the tank. And uh, here I'm animating the glossy to go, uh, the glossy depth to go from zero to one and at the same time I'm animating the uh, glossy samples so here I'm animating them from 0 uh, from 1 to 10 and then uh, at the end I set everything back to 6 and I start increasing both uh, the depth and the glossy depth the diffuse and glossy depth to from 1 to uh, 5 and uh, I've rendered a sequence uh, and this is the way you render a sequence uh, the default path uh, was IP, which means send the render to interactive, and I have uh, uh, gave it this path, which means uh, write the files uh, rel to this location relative to where my hip file is, and this is the full path. And uh, the dollar $F4 will give me uh, four uh, padding, four zeros padding. And then uh, what I've done is uh, I've changed this from render current frame to render a sequence so I set the sequence from 1 to 40 and then uh, Arnold has uh, AUV so I turned on a couple of AUVs to be able to debug this and the main AUVs that we're going to be looking at is the direct uh, illumination of lighting without any indirect diffuse or reflection or anything just the raw uh, direct diffuse and that's mainly coming from the uh, sam uh, camera samples camera AA and I also uh, turned on the indirect diffuse so we can see only the indirect illumination uh, by itself and also the direct specular so the reflection of all the lights directly and the indirect specular so the reflection of uh, anything that is not a light and uh, I'm going to um, and I've uh, rendered the sequence and I have um, uh, stamped over the render time over these images and we're going to take a look at them and should and explain the settings so this is the render and as you can see at this point we have the tank the ground and the water and here I have all the settings um, they're not we don't know we don't I know it's we don't know all of them at this point but it's um, I'm gonna be explaining uh, the one I'm changing at a time and basically we have the settings that are being passed to Arnold and uh, the number of total rays being generated and this uh, bucket workers done in uh, this is the number of seconds it took to render this image so at 1920 by 900 this took 27 seconds and I um, I don't have any diffuse you can see it's disabled by samples uh, I don't have any indirect um, uh, reflection. I don't have any reflection. The the water here is not reflecting the tank, and uh, the there is no indirect illumination. There is no GI happening in this scene, and I only have two samples on the camera. Okay, and as I uh, as I scrub through, we're going to see the number of samples increase. And if you look at this area here and this area, and also the noise overall we're going to uh, start seeing an improvement and you can see it here as well in this area. You can see that we're uh, going to start seeing less and less noise in the image. And I'm actually going to zoom in and maybe this area makes more sense. So here we're going to see this is the default and let's see if I can get the render time. 
okay i think this is this is good as well so uh, the this is the render time and we're going to start increasing the samples from 2 to 12 i think and you can see by changing that from 2 to 3 we're getting a lot less noise uh, here and as i increase that sample you can see it's pretty much noise free at this point by frame 6 which means 7 samples so 7 to 6 samples uh, produces pretty much a noise free render and it only took 3 minutes but you can see that uh, you can see the relation between the number of samples and the render time we started off with 2 samples you can see how noisy it is in this area and the render time was 27 seconds and as we started adding more and more samples the render time went up but the quality is much higher and here you can see the total count of camera rays shot and the shadow rays as well and uh, i do have refraction in my scene so that uh, that uh, that's included but you can see we're only shooting these type of rays the camera the shadows and the refraction there is no glossy or diffuse and it's off right now and uh, the next option, once I go up to, I think, 12 uh, samples, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on GI. I'm going to turn on global elimination. You can see the samples uh, have changed to one and the depth is set to one. So we have one bounce of global elimination. And you can see the difference already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a look at the indirect diffuse only uh, by itself without the without the environment without everything else so just the diffuse the indirect diffuse and this is how what the AUV looks like so this is the indirect diffuse AUV and you can see at frame 11 it is off and we can look at the sample here the settings here and as I go to the next frame we're, we have one depth now and I'm setting back everything to six so the samples is set to six the AA is set to six and you can see with one bounce uh, here we uh, we are at two minutes and we only we're only shooting one sample and if you look at the diffuse here the ray count we're shooting this much now so the render time is obviously obviously going to go higher and as I start uh, to increase the render uh, the number of samples for the diffuse you can see we're getting uh, better and better result and by uh, let's see by five samples once we reach five samples the result is pretty much noise free and you can see it's very clean here it's very clean around this area it's very clean here and we're um, uh, we're only at three minutes right now and this is how the render looks like so this is the render with uh, with global illumination and uh, using six samples and we're at three minutes 24 and uh, there is no again there is no reflection of the water of the um, the water is not reflecting the tank and the tank is not reflecting the 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 geometry here it's only reflecting the lights okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i think i'm going to keep going up to the diffuse samples but we can see that we've identified that having six or five samples in the diffuse is enough to produce a noise free image so we don't have to go uh, that high and then the next thing i'm going to do uh, from frame 20 to 23 i'm going to turn on indirect reflection so we're going to turn on reflection and we're going to have the water reflect the tank and you can see uh, the change in in the visual here and I'm going to take a look at the AOV of the indirect diffuse by itself. So this is the, the result at frame 22. We don't have any, sorry, we don't have any indirect uh, reflection. So in this frame, we start, we have the, um, the glossy, the reflection is turned on the indirect specular. So, um, and we start off at one sample and you can see here we have, oh, it's still pretty noisy so the ref the tank is reflecting itself at this point and then the water is reflecting everything else and also the tank is reflecting the water and and the ground so as i scrub through let's see if we can get everything fit everything so as i uh, scrub through we're, i'm going to increase the samples and we can take a look we can keep 
keep an eye on the render time. So we went up from, um, from let's see, three minutes, 24 to uh, three minutes, 44. Once we turned on uh, the indirect reflection, the reflection of the, uh, of the geometry. And I'm starting to add samples and you can see the result is much cleaner once we reach uh, five samples as well. So we can we can use that as a reference for the settings that we want to use for final rendering. And the render time is still uh, uh, very reasonable. I think six minutes on this. And we have all this uh, detail. So the next thing I'm going to keep going to, I think, 12 or 10. And you can see the quality is not changing that much after five or six samples because the result is pretty much noise free. So you can see that we're changing from 10 to six here and the result is not that high. So the final settings I'm going to be using are six for the samples, AA samples, and six for the diffuse and six for the glossy. I still think I can reduce these downs. I mean, I've seen, I think the result is uh, for the reflection is still clean at probably four samples, maybe five. And so we can definitely use uh, use those instead. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start increasing the number of depth for the glossy and diffuse. So we're going to be reflecting multiple times um, uh, the water and the tank and same for the diffuse. And we're going to take a look at the visual difference here. You can see there is more information. Uh, we're seeing more information on the tank. It's it's subtle. It probably makes more difference in a more complex environment where we have a lot of reflective material facing each other. But you can see we're getting more inf more visual added to the image. And I'm going to take a look at the at the diffuse, the indirect. So this is the indirect, and we're at uh, one sample and then two samples. You can see we're getting more indirect illumination and three samples, four samples and five samples. And you can see how the render time is being affected uh, the, the, the more bounces we have. From 6.45 uh, to two minutes, uh, it went up by 15 or 17 seconds, and it's gonna keep hot going higher as we add uh, more samples. And I think that's uh, that's pretty much it for the for the render settings. You can uh, we can take a look at the final result here. Uh, there is one more thing that I would like to explain, which is the the direct diffuse. So we have uh, the uh, uh, the all the lights hitting the diffuse, okay, uh, adding the surfaces, and that is called direct uh, uh, diffuse. And this is the AUV for the direct diffuse. And the quality of this AUV is mainly driven by the number of samples in the camera and on the lights, okay? If uh, we can compensate for this noise by adding more samples to the uh, lights themselves. Uh, but I, I personally recommend solving all the noise using the AA. So this result, this pass here is not affected by any indirect diffuse or any uh, reflection. And it's only the uh, direct illumination of the lights directly. So it, it, any Arnold lights like a distant light, spotlight or a sky dome. And you can see it's pretty much clean after um, uh, at five or I think even less. Yeah, four samples were we have pretty much a clean result, maybe five samples. And then the other thing that we have is the direct specular. So any reflection that is um, that is not a geometry, that is a light, and that's and and uh, that's basically a specular. And in this case, a specular can be the reflection of any Arnold light. Uh, like a spot distance or a point light or mesh light or anything and also a sky dome and in this case the sky dome has an HDR and we're reflecting all of that and we if we zoom in we'll see that we have a lot of noise as well and as we increase the uh, the AA samples that this solves pretty much all the noise issues so um, 
uh, hopefully it's clear the difference between the direct reflection, the direct specular and direct diffuse, and indirect specular and indirect diffuse. And this is the final uh, result in a, uh, for this scene. I would use probably six for the AA and four and four for the glossy and diffuse at one bounds. And that should keep the render time very reasonable uh, for this scene. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks guys for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.